I was just about to start eating this delicious bread. Would you like the recipe? Keep watching. Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are dealing with carbs and not curls. Today I'm going to be making a recipe out of the THM cookbook. It is on page 298. If you have the cookbook, it is the Bust a Myth Banana Cake. But instead of making this as it is written in the recipe, I have done it with modifications, which I will talk to you about. And then I'll also have the recipe in the description box in the way that I've modified it. So I'm starting off here with a fourth cup of egg whites plus three whole eggs. Uh, the modifications that I made included uh, not using bananas, but rather I made this a nut bread with some spices in it. I'm using nutmeg and cinnamon. So into that three whole eggs and a fourth cup of egg whites, I'm adding one cup of the triple zero yogurt, and this is the vanilla flavor. This yogurt is sweetened with stevia. So that will give your bread a tiny bit of sweetness, but we'll also add sweetener to it. And the sweetener I'm using is a Rifritol. What I normally do is I put all my wet stuff on the bottom of my blender, so that way my blender has more energy to blend everything up. And then I start building with my dry ingredients. So into the eggs and the Greek yogurt mixture, I'm adding 3 fourths cup of sweetener. And I wish that I had added a full cup of sweetener. So if you make this recipe, go ahead and add a full cup of sweetener if you're using just a Rifritol. If you're using an Rifritol Stevia blend, I would say you'll be fine with that 3 fourths cup. But I was just using just a Rifritol alone and it's not very sweet on its own. I feel like you have to use more of it instead of um, equal parts to a sweetener when you're baking with it. Play around with it. I've made this recipe a hundred times and every time it's a little bit different because I always make modifications. Sometimes I add cranberries to it or sometimes I'll do it with uh, blueberries instead of bananas or I'll do bananas and blueberries to make it more fruity. My kids like it, my husband loves it and today this particular loaf that I'm making is actually going with me into the office. So into that we're throwing in baking soda and baking powder. For the baking soda, you're gonna need one teaspoon of baking soda, and for the baking powder, you'll need double that, so two teaspoons. And then this is the part that the one of the modifications I made, I added cinnamon and nutmeg to it, and I'm using one teaspoon of the nutmeg, and then I think I put in here two teaspoons of the cinnamon. For the vanilla part, I usually just do a use the cap as my measurement, so I put two capfuls. But for if you're looking for actual written in stone ingredients, it's one teaspoon of vanilla. So that cap is probably one teaspoon, and I probably ended up, you know, just doubling it and putting half. You will need salt for this recipe. I do recommend that you get some sort of good salt, like a mineral salt, a sea salt. I'm using a kosher coarse salt for um, this recipe and the salt amount you'll need is just one fourth teaspoon of a mineral salt so a pink salt would be great a gray salt celtic salt anything like that would be really great salt is very beneficial to your diet it's good for you to have some good salt in there when you're cooking your recipes and when you're eating food just to flavor the food and now the star of the show oatmeal. I'm using oatmeal for the flour in this recipe. So that's what makes the bread gluten-free is if you're using gluten-free oats, um, then your friends who have gluten intolerance can, you know, enjoy this recipe. Once you get all of your ingredients into the blender, oh, let me remind you for the oats part, it's two cups of oats and then after you get done blending everything together and everything is nice and smooth, we'll actually add another half cup of oats that we will not blend. 
So see, once you get done blending all those items, then this is the part where you'll just do a mixing of things. So I just have one of those small packs of nuts that you get from the grocery store. I think it's a half a cup's worth of nuts, or it might be a, a full cup. Actually, I think it is a full cup. I think what I did was, but don't quote me on that. Check in your local grocery store. You know those little packs that I'm talking about. They have them hanging up and they're very handy. So that's what I got was just one of those little packs of nuts. And um, now I'm getting ready. I put half of the pack of nuts in and then the half cup of oatmeal, mixed it all together. And then here I'm pouring it into a bunt pan. I poured out half of my mixture. And then the second half of nuts that I have, I'm gonna use them and do a layering technique where I put some of them in this middle layer Then I go in with the rest of my batter, make another layer, and then top that layer with the rest of the pecans. So that way when it bakes, you'll have nuts throughout the bread, you'll have nuts right there in the middle, and then you'll have this nice crust that's built up on the top with these, with these nuts, and it just, it looked beautiful. Just wait until the end of the video, you'll see the bread. It just looked absolutely beautiful, I, I think. Not just because I'm the baker, but I think it looked great. So into the oven it goes, it's on 375 and you're baking it for 30 minutes. And through the magic of YouTube, the bread is ready. And this is what it looks like when it comes out. This is the bread coming out of the oven. It looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try it tomorrow. Look at all those pecans all over the top, along with the oatmeal. Okay, so I took the bread into work today and it was a huge hit with the ladies in the office. We have one, we have two people in there who are actually gluten-free. And the one person that is working right now and not working from home really liked it. And uh, the other lady said they really liked it too. They said it reminded them of fall because of the cinnamon and the nutmeg. So if you get a chance to try this bread, your office mates might like it too. Um, I only put three fourths cup of sweetener in there. And I wish that I had added a little bit of liquid stevia just to make it a little bit sweeter. Or maybe put some, maybe you could put some like uh, whole fruit jam on top. Or we have, we've have at the house a syrup that's sweetened with stevia. And I put some of that on there. It's a maple syrup that's sweetened with stevia. That made it taste kind of nice too. So any of those things that you want to do to sweeten it up a little bit would be great. And uh, I hope you guys get to try the bread. I think it was delicious. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.